and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm writing the lyric graffiti original lyric graffiti from uh, I got it in early 2023 but purchased it in late 2022 that's what they're calling this one the 2022 model but I wanted to talk today about something that's coming out very very soon and that's the best time of year to buy an e-bike and I often get asked this uh, about when's a good time to buy an e-bike and the absolute best time is Black Friday or the Black Friday sales which actually begin before Black Friday some of them begin early November and so we might start hearing some deals coming up in the next uh, few weeks here once you get into the first of November uh, some now I don't have any inside information on this but some people uh, get access to early deals or knowing what is coming out there going to be for sale they get a heads up I uh, do not have any information at least not yet if I get anything though I will definitely pass it along and uh, but yeah Black Friday is the best absolute best time of the year to buy a bike anywhere in the Black Friday right through the end of the year uh, is the in in my opinion would be the best time you're gonna get the best deal possible um, companies are gonna go down probably about as low as they're gonna go at any other time unless they're clearing out a bike you might get a deal that's better but usually you know there's good competition at uh, in the Black Friday uh, week or, or weeks leading up to it and then a little bit into uh, uh, right around like into the Christmas time and uh, what happens is sometimes they're overstocked with inventory and they're trying to clear some out for uh, 2024 or 2025 I should say we are in 2024 now and so they're trying to make room for new models and they're trying to compete with other companies right so they're trying to um, give the best deal that they can because they have to compete with other companies that might have a similar bike that are, that are offering that bike at a better deal you know so they got to stay in competition Not sure where I'm going here. I'm going to go this way, and since there's no cars coming behind me, I'm going to make a left. Yeah, I'm going to let this guy go. <clears throat> I got to wait anyway, but I'm going to. If I boot it here, I can go. Here we go. But uh, yeah, so if you're looking for a particular bike, and you want one now like I'd hang in there and wait just a little bit and uh, you know within the next three weeks anyway or four uh, you're gonna get some uh, good deals and what I like to say is if you want a good bike you probably have to spend of course this is going to depend on what kind of bike you're looking for but I think you can get yourself a pretty good bike out there for about 1500 right now and so if you hang in there for the Black Friday sales you'll be able to get yourself probably a bike that might be valued at $2,000 for your 1500 and save 25% there's deals like that you know that go on so uh, sometimes you can save even more than that but um, not always and there's always some bikes that seem to never go on sale I mean there's bikes that I like and you wait and wait and they never go on sale and so it's, it's like some items at the grocery store right you'll go to the grocery store and buy you might only buy certain items when it's on sale because you don't want to pay the, the price that it is originally 
and but there's some items never goes on sale never ever so that's kind of true with some bikes but hey if the uh, competitors want to compete with one another they have to uh, give you some kind of good deals but yeah that's what I would do I would absolutely wait now we're so close to Black Friday and it's definitely the best time of year to to get a bike the only downside is for most people you might be living in an area where you can't ride it in the winter right and by the time you get the bike it's probably going to be around December right when you get by or close to it December 1st when you buy a Black Friday bike and you got to wait for the spring to ride it but hey at least you got it and you can get it all ready to go with what accessories you might want and uh, have it ready to go when your uh, springtime and the time to ride is there. So yeah, I would definitely look for uh, Black Friday deals and that other thing is too, accessories too. If you're looking for accessories for bikes, that too is another good time of year to buy it, Black Friday. And a lot of times they will throw in a few accessories too, free to entice you to buy the bike as well. So, and sometimes it might be too a case of where they normally charge shipping. Some places they'll give you free shipping, which is a good deal as well. So yeah, I would I would definitely hang on on hang on there a little bit, a few more weeks here, and uh, see what's out there. If you're eyeing a particular bike, like I say, and you have fifteen hundred dollars to spend, uh, you might very well get a bike that's. Uh, Two thousand dollars for your fifteen hundred, and I would look around. You know, like I would, I would do some uh, serious uh, homework on the uh, the bikes, what's out there, what they're offering, because you might compare a couple of different bikes, and one bike might be, oh, let's just use an example. One bike might only be a forty-eight volt, whereas another one you might get a fifty-two volt with everything else similar. You know, it might have a 1,000 watt motor as opposed to a 750 watt motor. I might have a larger battery. Um, things like that, you know, can make a difference in swaying you to buying one brand over the other. Um, let's just use it as, as an example, a Venton. Let's say a Venton and Rad power bikes, both have a bike uh, that's on sale on black, black friday but let's say the aventon one is 52 volt everything else is the same but that one's 52 over the 48 that'll give you a pause for thought do you get the aventon or do you like the name rad power bike so you have to kind of do your homework on that and uh and weigh everything you know to what you're looking to buy what type of bike and all that and then weigh it with what is out there um and the best deal The first ever bike I purchased was a Rad, speaking of Rad, Power Bikes, uh, and if you're not familiar uh, with uh, my channel and you're new to the channel, then I'll just go over this quickly here, but I bought my very first bike, I did my homework, I did my real due diligence for my first bike, watched videos, uh, looked up all kinds of bikes online, and I chose the Rad Rover 4. That was the brand new Rad bike that came out at that time. And uh, at the time I bought it, it was a Black Friday deal. It was uh, the bike was regularly priced at. Let me think now. It was 15.99 was the regular price back then. And we're talking. And I always get this mixed up. It was either Black Friday 2018 or 19. One or the other. It was either five or six years ago. It's bad that I don't remember which one. I always get those mixed up with what year it was. But anyway, it was either five or six years ago, and I think e-bikes at the time were a little more pricier. Like, I, I for what you uh, get as compared to now, I think you have uh, better um, uh, everything, better specs on the bikes now. A lot of them are hydraulic brakes and stuff. Well, the, this bike did come with hydraulic brakes, but it did not come with fenders. Anyway, it was a regular price, 
and I got it for three hundred dollars off, uh, twelve ninety nine, and then I had a, I found a fifty dollar discount uh, um, coupon discount, and so I used that discount code and saved another fifty, so I got it down to twelve fifty, and then I had to buy fenders though it did not come with fenders and of course the fenders were sold out at the time I got the bike so I had them uh, I put in to uh, get an email when they're uh, they were back ordered and when they would get more in to send me an email so I'd know to purchase the uh, fenders so I did uh, they weren't too long after you know, it was probably three weeks or something after, or maybe even less than that. It wasn't too long after that they got more fenders in and I was able to buy the fenders. And the fenders cost me $90, so... Um, but I got the fenders. I'm going to go on the road here because I'm turning left up here. And uh, so it ended up costing me, if you count the fenders uh, added on, it was $1,340 eventually for the bike. So it was a pretty good deal. You know, I was able to save myself $350 and then I had to buy the $90 uh, fenders. So, and that was a Black Friday sale. But uh, there wasn't as many bikes to choose uh, as there is today. And that bike got the best, you know, feedback, the company was well established, which which was good. I was looking for something that I can kind of trust. My first bike, you know, you're getting your feet wet. And uh, then I went from there and uh, ended up getting a uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly after that because I wanted something that, that could go up hills. And the not that the rad bike was terrible or anything, but it was not a very powerful bike to get you up hills. 48 volts, 70. A 48 volt 750 watt motor, but I uh, ended up getting the Grizzly uh, uh, in 20 April Fool's Day. I received it on tw in 2022. Uh, they weren't available when I finally made up my mind, and again I did my due diligence to buy uh, to buy a, a bike when I chose to buy that bike after a lot of homework on it. The bike was, of course, not in stock, and so I waited till it came in stock. And when it came back in stock, immediately I uh, went for it and got it uh, very quickly. Actually, after I ordered it, it was shipped pretty fast. But uh, yeah, so that's that's my uh, that was not a uh, that was not a Black Friday. I paid full price at the time. It was thirty-two ninety-nine for the uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly but uh, definitely a good bike and at the time it was worth it it was you know now i've got my favorite bike is the lyric graffiti soon to be the graffiti x so it's funny this is going to be my x bike and the other one's the new one's going to be called the x so kind of weird there but i'm not getting rid of this bike or anything at least not right now uh, even though i'm getting the i have, I have had people asking me what am i going to do with this bike I'm going to keep this bike at least for now and uh, we'll see what happens in the future but all I need is the other Lyric Graffiti the 2023 and then I would have all three Lyric uh, Graffiti bikes and I don't know if anybody else out there would have all three models maybe all right well that's going to do it for this video I just wanted to let people know to hang in there if you're looking to buy a bike because uh, uh, we're getting right to the Black Friday deals coming up uh, before you know it and uh, you may as well save yourself some money and get uh, get a good deal on a bike. So that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, Maybe you bought a bike on a Black Friday and you can uh, tell us your story and uh, or any other comment if you want to leave one in the uh, comments. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.